Oh, hello, welcome back. Oh, wait, oh, god damn it. Wrong button. <laughs> Mistakes happens. So, servers are back. Here we are. Uh, I also activated VoIP. 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 Not VoIP. God. So, I show you some fancy stuff. Yeah. Uh, me choose. Uh, thanks for the host, John. Mikusa. Mikusa. Not sure how I have to pronounce this. Uh, welcome, and I hope you enjoy it. See, Miss Susan. C is silent. Now that sounds complicated. <laughs> Musa. Is it that when it's silent? Yeah, anyway, sorry if it's wrong. Close enough. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so uh, we start again at New Babbage. Uh, we go straight. To the airport and get the Karak again. Hopefully, this time we can enter it. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty optimistic. So, start up. Yeah, uh, I tried to go to the expo, but uh, I got lost. To be honest, <laughs> I mean, the last time I was in New Babbage was uh, when Microtech was released. Shall I go to the expo? Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of signs, that's true, for some reason. <laughs> I didn't get it. I, I yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, the signs showed me the way, but when I get this way, that there was nothing. Simply nothing. I wanna see the. Star Runner, the Nomad, yeah. Yeah, uh, I saw some people complaining about that the, mo the Nomad looks like the ASP or the ASP from uh, Elite Dangerous. I mean, from top, maybe. From top, uh, it has some. Yeah, it looks a bit like that. But uh, when you look from the side, it's pretty different. And I don't care about it, to be honest. So. I don't own. Yeah, it's it's different for sure. Uh, I don't own the Star Runner right here. No, what the hell? Wait. E. Hey, come on. That's not a lobby. <laughs> I don't care about it anyway. Floor 9, what the hell? So, 
lobby. This is not the lobby. Huh. Huh? Let's see. Da, here we are. I have no idea. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, it's like the vulture. Elite Dangerous has a quite similar ship. Expo Center, you, you think I should go here? This way? To the Expo? I think the, the ships or at the spaceport, right? Oh, by the way, let's. Tra oh no! Wait, I have that stupid helmet on. So, Ronald. Now, check this. Oh, God. <laughs> so, hmm. ah! <laughs> still shows the helmet. And for all the Frankenstein Brille. There is no helmet. God damn it. Come on. Stoch got down with me, Helmish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We go to the carrack. We check the carrack. Try that again. Hopefully. Hey, hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Uh, oh, wait. What? Did I take the wrong train again? What the... What the hell is wrong today? Ah! <laughs> Interstellar space spaceport. Oh no no no! We're right. We're right. Super we're okay. Uh, God. <laughs> yeah yeah, you can laugh, Ronald. <laughs> oh, where is my elevator? Hello. Oh, here. So. That? Yep. Here we go. I really want to try out the uh, Star Runner. I mean, I know it was in PTU for everyone, but I didn't play it. Security. Uh, hangers. Here we go. Last time. Hello. Hello. 
Yeah, say hello to Milo. My little monster. <laughs> Come on. How much time it needs to get an elevator. So, here we go. Hangar 20. Oh, now, look here. These details, Ronald. God. Here we go. Um, shall I try the back door? First. Yeah, that's true. Tried to get in uh, before the server crashed, but uh, there was no way. So this time, hopefully, it works. There we are again, yes. So, come on, come on, hello, what's this step, don't open, shit, it don't open, why, servers are not bad, yeah, I'm not sure. What's that? Can't enter the ship. You see? I mean, normally it's here. The entry is here. There is nothing. God damn it. So then the, the elevator should be here somewhere. Uh, got a somewhere. No, I mean, I just press the mouse button, keyboard mouse. I play with uh, keyboard mouse, actually. And if I, uh, you have the F, Hello. if you press F, you can use it. But uh, on this ship, on Karak, it actually doesn't work. Do you know? in-game buttons. Do you know where the... Is this the elevator? This should be the elevator, right? Because it comes down and it says danger. Uh, I think the in-game buttons are... Should be normal. Change the buttons of the elevator in the cat. Uh, at the back there is an elevator. But anyway, I mean even even the ramp doesn't come down for some reason <laughs> which is pretty silly so let's try again 
There is. You still got that snoot. Simply nothing. Huh? Doesn't work. No chance to get in. I have no idea why. Lift for the seat in the store. So, and also it says behind the, this uh, cargo pots is the elevator. I mean, uh, behind the bit. Also tried it on the side. Let's see. Feels a bit stupid to ask about that in the chat, but uh, <laughs> front. Yeah, I know. That's what I try. Yeah, er seid die vorne. Front panel is left side. So, I'm on the left. Villiforme. Die da. Die da vorne. Front panel is left side. Okay. Nimm mir acht. Was ist jetzt? Hilf. There is no panel. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, you mean like this? There is nothing. You see? Simply nothing. I'm not sure if it's broken. Panel, left side, even on the right side, there is simply nothing. Closer on the ramp, I think here, there is No, no. <laughs> this is so <laughs> This is so strange. Come on, please. Please. No thing. Yeah, there shall be text. That's right. But you can't see anything here. Beware of blast. Yeah. And there is no text. Oh! Here! It's not on the left, it's on the right. 
here it is. Ah. Oh. <laughs> go away. Go away. Go away. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe they have changed this, and I missed that. Du bist so. lustig. Anyway. Hey. Finally. That's here, so an. Sicher mehr so an. We got in. Let me use this one. Closed door. So. That's fish, sir. Now. This is the cargo room. Uh, oh, this is the. This is wrong. This is the. Oh my god. That's ish. So, these are the three. Uh, cargo pots. So these are the, I think the escape pots. Was macht mir da deine Dinge? Um, this is the gunner seat, one of the gunner seats. And uh, yeah, you see, you can easily Hello. get lost here. Oh, the elevator, nice. So we go up. Catwalk. Come on. Hello. What? Oh, we are on the catwalk. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, that's the wrong way. I'm back at the cargo room again. This is cargo. This is the elevator. Here we go. Ah. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. So, uh, the where is the a bit creepy without good lightning? Mm, yeah. Uh, I think we have to go technical the cockpit. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, this is the. The hangar for the cockpit for the oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ronald, you ever played Alien Isolation? Oh, here is the bridge. Here we go. So, uh, this is the standing bridge below us there is the captain's seat you can fly the ship from here or from below this is the navigation thing and uh, co-pilot seats uh, so we go one down lower bridge and here is now the cockpit So, here we go. Uh, Alien Isolation is one of the best games, but it's so creepy. Uh, come on. Where is the startup button? Come on. Nein, das macht nur Tür auf, Milo. R. Oh, yeah, thanks. R is working.
<lacht> äh, du hast da. Was ist da? Na, I don't want the next uh, invitation. Um, so. You are clear to launch. Yep, thank you. Now. Oh my god. Yeah, the door goes, the door opens. Take off complete. Oh. oh. It's not open yet. Oh my god. Okay. That's so, comisch. just don't move. Ich wollte hier mal rausgehen. Go. <laughs> uh, so, give some speed. And let's go. It's in the wild. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, 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 Good. The landing gear is up. So, here we go. Wow. This <laughs> can up a little <laughs> That happens when you play it. <laughs> when you play it only three or four times per year. Cruise mode on, huh? Eh? So. Now. Yeah, it deserves more attention, right? The thing is, I don't want to play it too much in this state, in this early state of the game, uh, because I don't want to have a burnout before it's released, so I mostly play it when new patches come out or uh, end of November every year. So now Uh, wait, how I can zoom in again? Is it plus? No. Look my Emilio. So you can barely see me in the under part of the cockpit. Upper part is the standing desk. Mm. Oh, oh. Ew, ew, so. Das kann nicht so schnell. Und wie und wieso warst du so schnell, bis du dunde bist? Mit dem Schiff geht es auch nicht so schnell. So umlogisch. Little, 
little things it takes too much time <laughs> to get in space. <laughs> so we have here all the control screens. Uh, planets. So we have Microtech, uh, Delamar, and Hurston. And Crusader, uh, Crusader, yeah. Is Crusader a planet? Not sure. And uh, every system or every planet, yeah, Crusader is a. It, it's more like a gas star and not really a planet. Uh, there are some moons like Daymar. Daymar, I think Daymar counts as a planet. Silin and Yella are definitely moons. Yeah, Crusader is a placeholder. Then we have here Hurston. I know it's Arcorp, not uh, Arcorp with uh, the moons Lyria and Valla. Uh, Hurston with Ita, Aberdeen, Ariel and Magda. So it's... it has... pretty... It's pretty good. So... It's only one star system. Yes, yes. Um, I can show you the star map, just a moment. So, look here. We have the... Where is the star? Here is the star map. Milo is ruhig. He talks more than my wife. So, uh, no, not full screen. Yeah. Yeah. So, let me explore. So, this is the whole planned star map. Uh, let's see, here is Pyro, this is next system that comes in, and Stanton, we are here now, at Stanton. No, it's ruhig. So we can zoom in here, and we see the whole Stanton system, and the jump point to the Pyro system. Oh, uh, that was the wrong button. Uh, we can jump here now to the pyro system. Yeah. We don't see it, really. But that's what will be in the pyro system at the start. And when we zoom out here, took some time. You can see the whole planned universe. So you have the friendly zones, the neutral zones, and the enemy zones. 
And when you imagine that you need, uh, I can show you uh, it the Stanton system. Uh, where is it again? Should be here. Oh, here. From Port Olisar, which is. Is it here? Uh, I think Crusader, right? Yeah, here. From Port Olisar. Uh, that was a bit too far. So, from Port Olisar here to Microtech, where we started, here. With the Karak, you need about 40 30 minutes to fly. Real, real life minutes. Yeah, Elite, oh, by the way, Elite the Dangerous uh, is free on Epic this week. If you want to try it, grab it. It's free. I mean, I backed, uh, I backed Elite Dangerous 2. So now, where we should go? Delamar or Stanton? I think I, I think I show you a uh, person, not Stanton. The fuck. Area eighteen is here. Should be here, somewhere. What? No! Not Harrison? Come on. Lor... Harry... Oh, R Corp. Good. Ah, Lorville. Okay. Yeah, you see. Uh, so, we go to our corp. More autopilot options. You have an autopilot. You, you can jump now. Uh, you see the destination on my radar here. It's uh, somewhere here. Not this one, right? Should be this. Oh, god damn it! Why am Max? Yeah, here we go. Now we have just uh, to wait for the quantum jump and jump. 59 million kilometers, so it took some time. What? Yeah, better map would be nice. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> the map is a bit... Uh, come on! Why you don't jump?
So, oh, still calculating. Oh, here we go. So, and now uh, we have some time to get off the seat. And check. Yeah, here we go. Get rid of that helmet again. So. Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you see, I try, but you see? Still have that fucking helmet on. For some reason. <laughs> so, I just changed the helmet to this one. Nah! Come on! Really? Why? Why? Safe, right? Safe. In use. Zero, zero. And I keep the undersuit. That's maybe a thing. By the way, where is my, where is my top hat? Oh. Ah. Here we go. <laughs> so <laughs> this is so silly. God damn it. Really. I mean A lot of shirts. Dumper Depot, yeah. Jacket, no jacket, no gloves. I have pants there. Yes. You had this bug too? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if the FOIP will catch, what the hell, no, what's wrong with you? So. Uh, no, doesn't change. Still, I'm pretty sure if I go to space, I die because I have no armor on. What is this one? Okay. There, torso, utility, technology, Moby glass is okay. Uh, pri what? Oh, wait. Arc light. Yeah. We get this fancy golden pistol. It's 
that. Yeah, uh, still the same, but anyway. Better. Yeah, I think we have a few minutes. So I can show you the ship a bit. The mat bed, uh, yeah, maybe. What? Oh, here. Come on. Can you do open automatically? The mat bed. Maybe it works. Uh, what, what, what? Lie down. So, yeah, Ronald, this is the medical station. Uh, you can respawn here, here. Uh, can I do? Oh, I, I don't lie down. What the fuck? Sit. Oh, here. Lie down. Yeah, let's see. So, carry. What means this? Oh, <laughs> so let's see. I think this works. Uh, here we go. Let's see. Safe, huh? Nah. And I always have this mat pen in my hand. I don't know why. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, we better check where we are. Uh, here are the quarters, uh, billiard table. So let's see. Oh, yes, still 30 million kilometers away. So we had a lot of time. I really want to show, show Ronald how the FOIP works. This is a bit annoying because it's really fun. Oh, wait. Uh, I think I can. I can. I just go... Uh, no, I can't. I have to go to the the character creation for this for that um yes we're flying 25 million kilometers we're just flying this is why there is a billiard table and a crew quarter and uh, such things, so you can have some fun. <laughs> 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 
That's why I say it's a pretty slow game. Yeah, Ronald, uh, you start the stream now. Androids. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. Also, the NPCs look like androids or react like androids. They ignore you. Oh, 20 minutes still. Yeah, then uh, we don't need that long. Only we're pretty fast. What I actually don't like at the Karak you can't spawn your Pisces or uh, the the rover in it. So if you wanna You want to join that trip? Yeah, you don't have to buy it. It's free for two weeks. Just make an account, download. No, you can't spawn it in the ship, which is pretty stupid. So you have to fly to a moon where you have a landing pad and can spawn it and drive it in and yeah, that makes makes no sense. But yeah, I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> no complaints about that. There are much bigger ships. Uh, I think the biggest is the Kraken. Oh wait, uh, uh, first, oh god, uh, the biggest is the Kraken, which is, in fact, uh, flying city. So, oh, I will show you. Uh, turn the music a bit down. So, this is the trailer for the Kraken. Is the bar new merchantman bigger than the Kraken? I don't know. I think the Kraken is the biggest one. Yeah, actually the 890 jump is the biggest.
The Kraken is kind of a carrier, a flight carrier. The Kraken is small, okay. Star Citizen trailers are the best trailers. So, here, this is the croc. In this age of uncertainty, it's time to take back your strength. Ah, cheers, by the way. It's time to release the Kraken. Release the Kraken. Drake Interplanetary. Is there a Bengal trailer? I can't remember that I saw the bangle. Oh, here we go. Wait, is there an official one? Behind the guns? Yeah, let's see. Watch this. Uh, one moment. Check. Where? Are, oh, we already here. Okay. Um, wait. Yeah, here. So. Big guns of UEE. Okay. Let's see the big guns here. Past few months, there's been a, an awful lot uh, going on in regards to not only the small ships but also the capital ships. The should we say the big guns of the Is fleet? The UAE. Oh. That's the Idris, the Bengal, and the Javelin. You've seen the Javelin in a disarray of state in in the Homestead demo. Yeah, so the guns of the Javelin are bigger than, uh, oh God, they're fucking big. <laughs> the Idris has consistently been in development for a very long time now. There's been a, an awful lot going into it. There's there's so many kind of factors that you need to account for. Design, art, aesthetic, yeah, I mean, cinematics. The official the trailers, well, with, there's, there's, there's all these kind of things going on. The so Idris amazing. was the first of, of that fleet to kind of go through that motion. So that's pretty much there now. We've got one room, I think, that's just left uh, left to do, which is the missile room. Um, but that that's going to be a fun, good, good task. Leave, leave the best till the end, as they say. The history of the Idris, it really kind of started no, it's off not that as long. a much smaller Six ship. And it, as we kind of do very well in the UK, we make things bigger and bigger and bigger. During the development of, of, of Squadron, we kind of realized that really the ship wasn't going to be big enough to suit and the needs of the Ronald, story. for these big so ships, kind of you need a crew. You can't there. fly it alone. You need to feel, feel bigger and, and better. And, you know, there, there, was, there was a lot you more kind of You can hire NPC from, crew. From, should we say the script? So but, uh, of course, it's kind of better to, to have uh, original kind of a real crew. Um, obviously, when a ship gets kind of wider and wider and wider, it starts to look a bit tubbier and tubbier and tubbier. So we, we lengthened it as well to kind of bring the overall kind of, should we say, the look of the ship back in tow. Um, as mentioned, it's slightly more angular. It's slightly more angular to keep it efficient in, in the engine. 
And uh, you know, as you can see, it's just exponentially grown. Um, it's not going to grow anymore. The, the beautiful thing about the Idris is when you take the exterior shell away from the ship, it it does genuinely look like an oil rig inside. It, it is so packed full of, <laughs> of stuff. Yeah. It's, it's quite crazy. There's, there's very little negative space. Every kind of square inch is used. So we've been as efficient as we can be. Yeah, we've also kind there of, you know, we try to make... I've an Android-like data. It, it, in a very way true. Of, it needs to feel like a really nice space to walk around. Um, and it should feel... It should flow. You should never kind of. You should never kind By of. By the way, there is a, a voice uh, mod for voice attack with data's voice. Very fun. That's your field of view. So there's all these kind of little things that we try to take into account. So when you're playing, you know, the big games like you know, Battlefront and Call of Duty, you study the level design. They do that very well. So it's something that I've always tried to push forward as well. And also to try and try and bring in some kind of verticality where yeah, possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, there's a lot more steps up and down. You know, there's can we go to the Bengal? It, it, kind of, it is an absolute nightmare to performance capture with this stuff, but it, it does genuinely feel a little bit more alive than just this kind of flat plane. Yeah. Okay. Next trip, please. The javelin was always in a good place. I was never going to sweat it. It was always going to kind of take care of itself as long as we we kept the primary focus on the Idris, which is your home should we say, during the, the, the story of, of, of Squadron. So, and then we've got the Bengal, which is the, should we say, well, it's the first ship we saw. Massive challenge, massive undertaking. It's not as black and white as going in and going, okay, we're going to make this big ship. It, it just doesn't work that way. You have to you take into account budgets, view distance ratios. Uh, can we lodge stuff efficiently to therefore squeeze more out of the engine? The exterior, the style of it, it kind of lends itself to this already. It's very kind of polygonal in form. Um, so we have a lot of planar surfaces that, that, that are easy to work with for the engine, and they're always going to light well. So there, there's a lot of factors that we play to our strengths. When you study a fleet in, in not only Star Citizen, but if you go back through the history of oh, the look at this sci-fi films, and I think the film that executed it the best of all ever was the opening to Star Wars. You know, you... You see the, the runner kind of go across and it's got these soft forms and it's generally kind of very softly lit. Um, there are lots of cylinders, lots of, you know, fillets, shall we say. You kind of understood, uh, without even seeing the Star Destroyer, what was going on and who was on board, right? And then you have this very aggressive, angular monolith kind of so come over let's you. And you see. kind of understood instantly, no music cues, what their role in the universe was. Can, and that's something that we, we try and achieve the size? with the design and, and the execution of, of the UE fleet, right? These guys are your friends. They're not they're not here to kind of, you know, be a, be, shall we say, like aggressive. They are the human element of this story. Ah, so there is no when you size. study the form of, of these ships, they're very much in tow with that what? that very much educational first thirty is seconds. That true? Or Star Wars, so oh, it's you know, and then of course, 990 you know, like meters like that, long, which, which you'll see further down the line. So nearly the one kilometer. So, you should, you know, it, it works both ways. If you see a ship and it's like a 10 pixel silhouette on your screen, you should get who it is, yeah. And if they're 990 they're meters, and you should also understand if you're stood in a corridor <laughs> and you've just spawned and you just look at a wall panel, you should understand exactly where you are. It just is through the basics. Fucking and that's, insane. that's what we're trying to do. So they're, 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 they're kind of three uh, big bad sure. boys that are in production Does it say right how um, many people and, it and needs? It rate. needs up to 755 crew members. Imagine this. 755 crew members. What the hell? So... Okay. So, oops. Uh, let's see. Uh, where we are? Harrison? No, we're we're not. Ah, oh, we're at R Corp. So R Corp. Uh, the whole planet is one big city. And 
now I have to check where the airport is. Uh, that's not the airport. I think I fly there. Where is the airport? Area 4. Area 6. Area 11. God damn it. Wait. Uh, here we are, uh, right? Our corp. So, where is area 18? Oh! Really? Other side? Yeah, here. Set route. Uh, on the other side, of course. Oh, wait, it's this button. Uh, we can't get at OM1. Oh, we can get there. OM4. Good. <coughs> yeah. Uh, we'll join your stream later, Ronald. I just uh, go landing here. This works? Oh yeah, this works. Very good. Here we go. I probably need about... 20 minutes to land or half an hour. drive I just want to see where I have to go this is a uh, kind of silly I mean you should be able to get your marker on without the Quantum warning. I know I'm too close. I'm not stupid. I think. Wait, I have another idea. I mean, I have a bed. So, I just get sleep and log out. And we'll check if it works. It worked sometimes before, but not every time.
Okay. Uh, I think I'm far away enough. Oh, I think, yeah. to to know up oh, here, 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 here we go yep. so yeah here we go nice So, uh, we exit. And looking for a bed. I have no idea where the beds are. By the way. Huh. Wait, 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 wait. The quarters are here, right? No? Here. Ah, here we go. It's not the captain's room, but anyway, can I use it? No? Why? Why I can't use it? So where... Uh, oh, it's here? No, that's a toilet. Captain's quarter should be somewhere here too. Come on. Toilet. Oh. Uh. No. God damn it. Oh. Here we go. Yeah, wrong button. So. Lie down. Good. Logging out. Yes. So yeah. Thanks for joining. Uh, hopefully next time... VoIP will work. I think VoIP worked, but uh, the stupid helmet was always on. So, thanks for joining. Hope I see you again. Have fun and I love you. Bye. Oh, wait. One thing. Uh, let's see if Ronald is already streaming. Yeah, he is. So let's wait. So we go.